He's a honeybee. Kind of cute little guy. You call that cute? Oh, you may not be cute, but you are beautiful. A beautiful beast. <gasps> beast. Beast. Ha <laughs> ha, let's call her Beast. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who needs seatbelts when you got a sticky pollen seat to sit on? Are you getting that nectar drinking, Chris? Huh? Oh, yeah. Drink it up, Beast. Wow. That pollen is sticking all over her furry face. I know how you feel, Beast. Pollen sticks to everything. Whoa! <laughs> Chris, you're like a giant pollen grain. Ha! <laughs> cool. But I'll just hop off in case you... <laughs> I'm stuck. Stuck? Hold still, Beast. I'm just going to give my brother a hand. Well, a couple fingers anyway. Uh-oh. Uh I had a feeling you were ready for takeoff! What? This mission is going berserk! Follow that bee! Uh oh! <coughs> Chris, which bee are you on? The one to your right! Must be that one. No, no! I'm behind you! I got you this time! I'm on my way! <laughs> oh, great. When they come to, who knows where I'll be? Well, this definitely wasn't part of the plan, and I have no idea where we're going. But could this be any cooler? <laughs> Woo, and look, no hands! I'm stuck on with pollen. More flowers below. Hey, Beast, you still hungry? <gasps> you did it! For yourself, you found another flower with more nectar to drink. And for the plant, you moved these pollen grains from the last flower to this flower. Pollen delivery complete. Now this plant has what it needs to make more plants. Whoa! Thanks, dude. Thanks, Spider Stick. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Stop moving. Orbit might think you're a captured bug if you struggle too much. Please don't eat me, Orbit. She's done with her web. She's taking her hiding position. The trap is set. No kidding. Incoming. A bee. He's coming in at 32 kilometers per hour, and I don't think he sees the trap. Will the trap hold? Yes, the web held. I could have told you that. Amazing that a few tiny threads can stop a bee in mid-flight. That's nothing. An orb weaver web is strong enough to catch a bird. And the spiders will eat them, too. Uh, speaking of eating, ooh, the first thing she does is stop the bee with her venomous bite. And then she wraps it up, a package of food for the next few days. Hopefully I'm not next. There. Oh, we bees love flowers because they give us that sugary water called nectar. Whoa, look. Uh, Chris might not want to crowd him. Us bees like our space. He's sipping up nectar with his tongue. Then he puts it in his stomach for storage. Uh-oh. Ouch. That bee was just doing his thing, and then I stuck your nose into Busy Bee's business? Yeah, I bugged him. So of course he stung me. Honeybees only sting when they're protecting themselves or their hive. Oh, these bees get really riled up. Of course, it's an African honeybee. Sometimes called the killer bee. The most aggressive honeybee in the world. Whoa, I think I found the roughest, toughest animal in Africa, the honeybee. 
Well, at 0.14 grams, he's just a little guy, so he gets extra toughness points for taking on a giant like Chris. That gets him an eight on the Wild Kratts tougher meter. Nah, the lion is still the toughest. Come on, he's a predator who attacks. Take it from someone who's been stung. It's the African honeybee. Uh, Chris, is that your nose or are you wearing a tomato on your face? <laughs> I'll always remember, give a bee his space. Cleared for takeoff. Follow that bee to the hive. out the size advantage while giving them extra ferocity points because while bees are defensive lions are aggressive predators we've got a nine it's too close to call between the lion and the african honeybee i need more data keep your eye on that bee get a reputation now for rolling over lions. What? The lion is running from bees? See? Bees are tougher. Whew. Oh, they're going back to the hive. Well, a lion running from a swarm of bees? That gives the African honeybee a bonus point on the tougher meter. And one up on the lion. <laughs>